we're taking a look at a multi-role helicopter that kind of comes back from the AW189, which did so well in the oil and gas industries. But Jeff Monday, Managing Director of Leonardo Helicopters in the UK, it's great seeing you bring the 149 here. Tell us a little bit about this multi-role helicopter. Well, it's a very modern, reliable and cost-effective helicopter, which we believe is uh, ideal for uh, a number of governments who will be looking to upgrade their ageing multi-mission helicopter fleets. Uh, it can be adapted uh, in the sense that we can add uh, situational awareness sensors or sensors for uh, self-protection, which will uh, also enable it to do a wide variety of military missions. So it can do troop transport, medivac, casivac, uh, search and rescue, combat search and rescue. Uh, so it's, it's really a multi-mission uh, platform uh, in, in, in truth. Now, when we saw it in a civil role, you were looking at oil and gas with probably 19 yes. people inside. Yes. So as a troop transport, of special forces and so on, yes. you see it working in that kind of field? Absolutely. It depends, depends how they're equipped, but it, it's got a, a big cabin space, either for a large number of troops or for uh, storage for the missions I was just describing. And certainly one of the things that I've seen, it looks pretty sturdy. So um, how well does it stand up in the, some of the rugged environments you've got to work in? Well, it depends on the mission that the customer wants it to be equipped for, but we can certainly supply it with uh, ruggedized um, um, infrastructure and uh, uh, heavy duty landing gear, for example, uh, should that be the, qu the, the requirement, or indeed uh, self-protection in, in terms of the, uh, the armor. Now you're fairly early, early doors really for um, the program itself and where you're going to in terms of the campaign, yeah. but where do you see this, this helicopter going to? Well, we think there are a number of countries worldwide who have uh, fairly aging multi-mission helicopter fleets. And so we think there are a number of opportunities for this. Uh, there is, we, we've already uh, have one customer who ha has the helicopter in service. We're bidding for a, num a number of other uh, uh, competitions as we speak. But looking at the fleets across the world, we believe there is uh, a good, uh, good opportunity in the market for this uh, product. Great. Jeff, thank you for joining us on the programme.